Well, let's check this out. I just picked this up. May Flash Arcade Fighting Stick F300. I wanted to get it to use with uh, with Mame on a old PC. I haven't even opened it up. I'm gonna try to hold this here and do it at the same time. Doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to. Oh yeah, we can do this. I think. Maybe I need my tripod. That's what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna put this on the tripod. There we go. Hold still. Yeah. There we go. All right. This is terrible. Terrible video work. It's because I'm using a phone. Where does it open at? Oh, it opens from this side. Okay. Alright. Well, look at that. That's kind of nice. Let's see here. Come on up. box aside. It looks like we got the controller. Little manual that explains how to operate this. And a little small USB cable. I'm assuming that, that is, from what I looked online, if you want to use this with an Xbox or um, PS3, you need to actually plug this into your controller, the charging end, so the little small micro part, and then it plugs into here. Anyhow, let's see how this feels. Oh yeah. That feels much nicer than my, uh, if you look over here, I have one of those iCades. I actually, it's Bluetooth. It was, it was Apple. I've got a video on it, but it was for um, the Apple uh, products, Bluetooth, and I couldn't get it to work with my Android, and so I pulled out the PCB board or whatever it's called, and I put in another one and just made it USB so I can just plug it into whatever I want. So I can tell this one feels a little more stiffer. I think this is a four-way joystick, but I'm not sure. But that feels very smooth. Oh yeah, and the buttons are really light, real um, easy to click, easy to push down. Whereas these over here are uh, really hard to push down. There's more tension in them. So anyhow, I've got a mate, so, uh, you know, a mate, mame on the computer, and I'm using the front end called LaunchBox. I really like that. So looks real nice. Still got the stickers on it. So anyhow, I was gonna hurry and open, it and I thought I'll catch it on film. So. I'm going to stop here and then I will get it working and hooked up and and then show you. All right, smell you later. That's what I'm going to get. I'm going to put this on the tripod. There we go. Hold still. Yeah. There we go. All right. Terrible, terrible video work. It's because I'm using a phone. Where does it open at? Oh, it opens from this side. Okay. All right. Well, look at that. That's kind of nice. Let's see here. Come on up. 
Alright, set the box aside. It looks like we got the controller. Little manual that explains how to operate this. And a little small USB cable. I'm assuming that that is from what I looked online. If you want to use this with an Xbox or um, PS3, you need to actually plug this into your controller, the charging end, so the little small micro part, and then it plugs into here. Anyhow, let's see how this feels. Oh yeah, that feels much nicer than my, uh, if you look over here, I have one of those iCades. I actually, it's Bluetooth. It was, it was, it was Apple, I've got a video on it, but it was for um, the Apple uh, products, Bluetooth, and I couldn't get it to work with my Android, and so I pulled out the PCB board, or whatever it's called, and I put in another one and just made it USB, so I can just plug it into whatever I want. So, I can tell this one feels a little more stiffer. I think this is a four-way joystick, but I'm not sure. But that feels very smooth. Oh yeah, and the buttons are really light, real um, easy to click, easy to push down. Whereas these over here are uh, really hard to push down. There's more tension in them. So anyhow, I've got a main, so, uh, you know, a main, main on the computer, and I'm using the front end called LaunchBox. I really like that. So, looks real nice. Still got the stickers on it. So, anyhow, I was gonna hurry and open it, and I thought I'll catch it on film. So, I'm gonna stop here, and then I will get it working and hooked up, and and then show you. All right, smell you later. All right, so I've had a chance to play around with this here. Um, I did end up doing one mod modification to this stick, and that was I got a picked up an octagonal restrictor plate. This comes with a square restrictor plate. I did a little bit of research on the internet to learn. You know, I'm just kind of trying to learn about these joysticks and. And uh, so I ended up picking up an octagonal one and putting on, and it really works so much better for games like Ms. Pac-Man. I was, I, when I would play Ms. Pac-Man before and try to make precise turns, it just would not work. I'd try to go down or up or whatever, and, and it would go the opposite way. With the octagonal one, it just seems to be much, smooth, much smoother. So other than that, I've left the stick default. I'm not a big fighting game you know, person, so I'm, it's not important to me at this time to upgrade the buttons or the stick. <clears throat> they work perfect for what I'm doing. Like I say, I just wanted this to, to be able to use in my main emulation stuff. So, anyhow, um, what I have learned about this, the way that I like to have it configured with MAME, is up here you've got these this input, X input or the D input, which is direct input. By keeping it on the direct input, I have more button functionality within the main program itself. More buttons register. I have like 12 or 13, 12 buttons, I think, to work with. If I keep it on X input, I think I've only got about nine, so some of these buttons won't show up as a as a button press within MAME. <clears throat> and these two down here act as a Z axis. And so, which I'm not really sure what that means or what, you know, what the purpose of that would be or what would be a benefit to use that for, maybe for like um, asteroids or something. I don't know. Anyhow, I left it as 
the direct input. D-pad and XY. This is the way that this, this if you keep it on D-pad, it acts as a analog control, I think. Whereas if it's up on XY, it's digital. For myself, the only notice difference that I've noticed within games is games like that require a trackball. So like um, Missile Command. I'll show you how the difference between the functionality is. So, but other than that, like if I play Pac-Man, Ms. Pac-Man, any other game, I really, I don't notice a difference, but I'm not a professional gamer, so. <laughs> um, but, so what I did is I just configured within the main settings um, this to work with both, just in case. Other than that, you know, I configured this to have some, you know, within main combinations, both of these will pause. This acts as my coin button. These together will escape me out, back me out of the game I'm in, and then this will be the menu button. So I'll just kind of show you briefly a little bit. If we go into like, um, let's go into Missile Command really quick. The front end I'm using, if you notice, um, this is a front end. It's called LaunchBox. If you launch box it's in big box mode right now it's an awesome front end I've researched a bit on those this I like this one so I can't recommend it high, enough it's just great so if we go in we'll go into missile command and right now I have it set on the d-pad so let's put a couple coins in here and then one player so you can notice the movement. See the little deal? It moves really nice and, you know, fairly smooth for using a joystick instead of a trackball. And then I configured each of these buttons down here to correspond with, you know, the, the, where it's shooting from. Both of these will pause it. This can get me into my menu for, to, with any settings uh, within MAME. If I push it again. It'll just, you know, turn it on and off. If I go deeper into the menu, if I want to back slowly out of the menu, I can use this. And if I did it one more time, it would back me out of the game, which I'm not going to do right now. Now, if I switch this D-pad button up to the XY so it acts digitally, you can see that, that the cursor there is all over the screen. You just cannot control it. So that's why I think this acts as an analog control. So if I turn it over there, you can also, which I haven't done, but if we pause it and I go in here and I go into the input for the game specifically, whoops, let me back out, sorry. And I go down to analog controls, you can see that I could adjust the sensitivity and the speed of that, um, of the cursor, but I'm not going to do that right now, but you can do that. So, anyhow, yeah, it makes it pretty, you know, it's playable. And, I mean, better than playable, it feels good. I'm not good at Missile Command, but... Okay. Here we go. So, works nice. Let's back out of this game. I think what we'll do is we'll just pop down, quit game. I need to work on the front end. It keeps showing that there. If I stop the video, it seems to work. All right. Now, let's try Ms. Pac-Man. And... Uh, yeah, like I say, this is, it's nice to be able to play this classic with, put our coins in, one player, but it feels really nice. I mean, I can, I can precisely turn, which feels good. If I change it to the X input, it seems to work real well. I can't, I can't tell a difference. There may be one I can't tell. I mean, I can... Let me 
go back and forth just trying to see if I can tell a difference, and I, I just really can't. So I will probably choose to leave it on D-pad since that seems to work with Missile Command and other games. I haven't played or found any other games that might not work well with it. I don't know. Um, you can exit out of it like that. So yeah, I can't really think of anything else to really talk about with this. If I've missed something or if you have a question about this, leave it in the comments. Um, if you know if there's something about the functionality of this and you have this stick that you can share, if you can share about the difference between X and Y versus D-pad or X input versus D input, direct input, let me know. Uh, I have not used this stick on any of my consoles. That's not why I got it, so I can't really comment on that. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. It was worth $60 for me. I will probably pick up another one so that I can have it um, be able to have two joysticks so that I can play, you know, games like Robotron and such. I think that would be pretty cool. So, yeah, I think that's all I have. If you enjoyed the video, this not so professional video, click like, and um, I guess we'll smell y'all later. Have a good day. Thanks.